You might have heard that in the UK, if you want to vote in elections, you now need to prove who you are with photo ID. We think that it's really important that everyone has the opportunity to vote. If you do not have photo ID, keep watching and we'll show you what you can do to make sure that you can use your right to vote. The first thing to check is, are you registered to vote? If the answer to this is yes, then keep watching this video. If you are not registered to vote or you don't know if you are or not, then the first thing to do is go and watch this other video about registering to vote. Even though you now need photo ID to vote, you do not need it if you decide to vote by post. To register to vote by post, you can watch this other video about registering to use a postal vote. If you want to go to the polling station yourself, you're going to need photo ID. There are a lot of things that you might already have that you are allowed to use. If you don't have any of these, keep watching and we'll tell you what to do next. But, for example, you're allowed to use any of these things that you might already have. A disabled or older person's bus pass, but not any other kind of bus pass. A blue badge. A passport. A driving license, full or provisional. A proof of age or pass card. A biometric residence permit. A Ministry of Defence identity card. A Northern Ireland electoral identity card. If you have any of these, you can use them to vote, even if it's out of date, as long as the photo still looks like you. If you do not have any of these and you'd like to vote in person, you can apply for a free voter authority certificate, which is ID that you can use to vote. We're going to show you now how to apply. Step one. First thing is to get a digital photo of yourself. You can do this yourself with your phone. Make sure you're in front of a plain background and that the lights are on. Don't wear a hat or dark glasses. Look directly into the camera's lens and have a plain expression on your face. Have a few goes at it until you get a good shot. The next thing is to go to the link in this video description. This is the government's website where you can apply for your voter authority certificate. The first thing it asks you is, are you registered to vote? We want to click on yes, I am registered to vote, and then click on continue. It then asks you, where are you registered to vote? So you can put in the country, um, where you live, where you've registered, and then click continue. How do you plan to vote? So we want to vote in person at a polling station. Click on continue. Do you have a photo card driving license that you can bring? No, we do not have that. Continue. Do you have a passport that you can bring? No, do not have that. Continue. And can you bring one of the following to the polling station? Then it lists uh, a lot of options of things that you could use as ID, but no, we do not have any of these to bring, and then we can click continue. Based on what you've told us, you can apply for a voter authority certificate. Perfect, this is what we want. So we click on continue. This page gives us some information about how to take your digital photo. You can click on the photo guidelines and it'll tell you all the information that you need to know about what your photo must be like also asks you about our national insurance number. You can find your national insurance or NI number on things like wage slips and letters about benefits, tax and pensions. You might have one of these cards that has it written on too. I'm going to assume that we do have a national insurance number and then we're going to click on start application. The first thing it asks us is what is the postcode for your registered UK address? So you need to Type in your postcode there. Click on find address. Hopefully your address will be in this list. If not, you can click on I can't find my address on the list. And then you can type in your address manually. Then you can click continue. So we'll send your voter authority certificate to your registered address. The address that you just put in. So you need to click on send it to my registered address and then click on continue. Okay, here we go. What is your name? 
So we write our name, your first name, your middle name, and your last name before you click continue. Have you changed your name since you last registered to vote? You might have changed your name for lots of different reasons. If you have changed it, click on yes. If you haven't changed it, click on no. Your date of birth, the day, the number of the day, the month, the number of the month, and a four digit year, just like they have here. Day, month, year. Click on continue. Now it's time to add your photo. It gives you all this information about what your photo needs to look like. And then it gives you the opportunity to upload your photo here. Hopefully you have your photo available on the device that you're using to apply. You click on upload and then we can find the photo. I'm going to use this one. happy with our upload and then we can click continue. Then it asks you what is your national insurance number. If you know it, you can type it in and click continue. Then ask asks you what are your contact details. You can provide your own or a nominated person's contact details. So if you wanted to put your support worker or a family member or a friend's contact details in here, then that's okay. Um, you can put your phone number and your email address in these boxes here. Do you need information explaining your voter authority certificate in Braille, in large print, or easy read? You can click yes or no, and they'll send some to you. Check your answers if you're happy with them, and then you click on I agree and you can send your application. And that's it. And then uh, in a couple of weeks, is that right, Wayne? Yes, yeah, it, it takes two weeks uh, from uh, putting the application uh, on the uh, computer at the government website. And then you get this piece of paper. And you get, yep, yeah, you get this piece of paper with your photograph, your name and information. And you can use that to vote. And you use that to vote. That's it. You should receive your voter authority certificate in a few weeks. It's important to apply for it as early as possible to make sure that you have it in time for the election that you want to use it at. At People in Action, we are really happy to support any of our members to go through this process. So if you're struggling with any aspect of this, please give us a call on 0113 244 3729 and we'll be happy to help. Good luck.